Hello Aquarius. It looks like you've been waiting for someone to become single. And guess what? They finally are. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello everyone, welcome in. This is an Aquarius tarot reading. It's a general reading for November 21st through the 27th. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you guys for next week. Proud Pirate number 33 reduces to a six. Sometimes this card comes up when pride gets in the way. This is also a card where it's about choosing correctly for yourself as well. It says, if you are proud of who you are and everything you have learned in your life, free from shame, guilt, or judgment, what would you choose for yourself today? Okay. So this is, this could be you. This could be the person you're connecting with. It could be the both of you. Especially if it's a heavy soul bond. Some, they tend to mirror each other. There's... Someone isn't choosing what is like their highest mate. Someone isn't chewing, choosing, chewing, <laughs> their highest mate. Okay. Let's see what complimenting energy we're going to get here from the Sacred Rebels Oracle. This is a new deck that I got last week. And you could tell if you've watched my channel before, you can see that I've got a couple other new ones here to switch out, refresh the table a little bit. Let's see what that complimenting energy will be. They wanted me to see that one. Ah, uh, the bottom is dream a beautiful dream. Visions of a life beyond death. This is a bit of a shoulder tap to acknowledge intuitive connection, deeper connections. Okay. Um, this could be something about a connection that you feel with someone, but maybe on the outside, the two of you could look odd together, or you think your friends and family would think that the two of you look odd together, for example. It's about energy. It's about energy, not physicality. Okay. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius next week. All right. Eight of swords. Oh, Wheel of Fortune. We're not stuck anymore. Woo! Okay. Cool. I'll take it. And Five of Swords. Okay, this is going to be a win. Ooh, options. Okay. I'll take options. Options are great. Okay. This is the Cosmic one of the other new ones that I got this last week. Nine of Pentacles also flipping around. This deck likes to talk. <laughs> Can you tell? Okay. Let's get into this. Ooh. The world underneath. Prince of Cups. Princes in this deck are the knights. Okay. Nine of Cups. Temperance card of Sag, Seven of Cups. It did come out after all. Queen of Pentacles. King of Wands, Leo Energy. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. So. Hmm. I'm wondering if there's like a worthiness issue here. And given the proud pirate, it's actually possible. So it, what, what it feels like, I'm going to read this side as you, Aquarius. This is your person. 
This is the situation. A love offer is inbound. Okay, it doesn't necessarily look like it's coming toward you. It looks like it, you're sending it to them. This is the situation between you after all. Love is coming into the situation. Um, it feels like on your end, you it would just make you so freaking happy. If this person who really, really has her shit together, <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, who plus plus fire who really has it together it would be a dream come true for you if this person were to say yes to this bringing this love into this situation i love the determination with you with this king of wands to make to make the dream happen it's the ooh it's the dream connection okay Okay. Hmm. Interesting. And they seem to be kind of just like, I mean, I, I don't condone waiting, but it seems like she's just kind of like patiently waiting as she's like doing her own thing. Cause she has her own 10 of pentacles already. Okay. Let, let's get into this Prince of Cups, which is the Knight of Cups in any other deck. Let's expand on that, please. The world came out again. Strength, card of Leo. Prince of Swords, King of Swords, Aquarius energy. Four of Cups, Queen of Wands. Five of Pentacles, this one, Six of Swords. Do a little more on this Five of Pentacles, please. Just the Five of Pentacles. Did you wait for them to become single? Did you wait for her to become single? I feel like the burden of waiting is over. Okay, because although she's got a ten of pentacles here, it's like there's some sort of loss incurred. Okay, and with the justice, three of pentacles kind of thing is telling it like possible like divorce and starting over kind of thing. Okay, that, that it was it was the right path. Okay, it was it was the right path. A very burdensome one. Hmm. Cause it's a little bit reiterated here. With the world strength prince of uh swords that's the page of swords so it's almost like um as she kind of gained the strength to close out a tough cycle it's almost like you perked up and watched and waited to make sure she really closed it really broke up really got divorced it feels like you've already always kind of carried a torch for this person And somehow she made it out okay, because even though five, five, five of pentacles, it could be just moving. It could be moving. I'm get like there's some sort of financial tanking because going with she's got the five there and the ten here. So with the six of swords coming after that, so that's, there's a smooth transition. So something bounced back for her. Okay, so now that this transition has come through. And you see that she's available. You're, you're going to try to bring this together. Nine of Cups. Oh, is that what? Is this one of those? Could, okay. <laughs> so remember the earlier thing about um, if you're proud of who you are, what would you choose for yourself today? And this a whole being conscious of connections and whatnot. This could be a connection where, I mean, it could have been a third party. Could have been... Um, but it could have been where you've always been friends and immediately after divorce, she gets with you and everybody starts talking. Well, if it's 
happened so quickly after. They must have been together was having something this whole time. Kind of BS, you know? Okay, let's get into your side. Let's start with a nine of cups, please. Okay. Nine of cups, two of pentacles, hangman, two of swords. Yeah, you, you've been sitting tight, hanging out in the rafters, waiting for the day to swoop in and balance up. Seven of Cups, please. <laughs> this your fantasy, my friend. <laughs> Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. The fantasy. Okay, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. You want a whole cycle with this person. The Ace to the Ten. You want the entire, you want the whole enchilada. The entire thing. Every single second. King of Wands, please. It's Leo Energy. Eight of Swords, Ten of Wands, good. High Priestess. Wheel of Fortune, Five of Swords. There it is again, reiterating again. Tower, there's that six of wands, five of wands, six of cups. Yeah, literally other people in the way of a soulmate. Hmm, you guys could have been friends forever. Friends, acquaintances, something. So there is the reiteration here of no longer stuck in headspace and understanding to rely on intuition. We have Pisces energy there, okay? Because Things are changing in your favor here for that win. Um, I know a lot of readers default to Five of Swords being a negative card, but it's actually not. Um, Five of Swords means no contest, competition you are going to win. Um, so no matter how it looks, it's just going to come out better. And there with the Wheel of Fortune, with the High Priestess, it's like using your intuition to guide you through this process. So. A good outcome can come for you okay let's see what's going on on this person's side okay OCD just kind of there we go okay temperance card of Sagittarius don't know at what point I got blurry but I hope you guys were able to follow along okay Let's get to temperance on your person side here. Okay. Nine of Cups, Emperor, Aries Energy, Palace of Cups. Okay. The Palace cards are an addition to this deck. Okay. Addition to the court cards. Okay. It's where the king and queen live. And this person is very, very much ready. This is this is this is that house of love, okay? What's that? Um, um, oh, the singer, the singer, the singer. Um, it's gonna hit me at one random time, and I'm just gonna start singing it. So, <laughs> be ready for it. So, this person is basically kind of just holding space for this place that they want to be in. They see you as very, very powerful, okay? Um, with passion like they do. There's more feelings here than you realize already, okay? Definitely more feelings here than you realize already. Queen of Pentacles, please. Let's expand on the Queen of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Sun, Leo energy, judgment, a swords. Yeah. Yeah. It, it looks like this is something that's going to start small. Okay. Um, it's going to be very beautiful, very quickly, <laughs> very beautiful, very quickly. Brand new beginning based in clarity and truth. The judgment call will be made. Okay. And you do have 10 of pentacles and 10 of cups on here. This is pretty incredible. And King of um, Wands, Queen of Wands. Let's see what's happening here with the Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles again. Seven of Coins, 
six of cups uh-huh so she seems sees long term with you an investment again investment with a soulmate investment with a soulmate okay pretty cards too hmm okay so this person is now becoming single and you have the chance to bring in the love hmm is there anything standing in the way is there anything standing in the way queen of cups three of cups star queen of wands page of wands six of stars magician no no the only thing that m might stand be standing in the way is the friend zone <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't see that you may think that you might be able to you may not be able to get out of the friend zone but that's just an obstacle in your own head okay this is manifesting okay alrighty I'm going to head over to the extended I'm gonna see what's going on with their queen of pentacles let's see what's going on with her and her current energy near future and the final outcome of the connection between you in this lifetime now that you finally have a chance to be together so um i will look into messages from spirit about the connection between you at this point in time messages between you as well as timing so if you're interested in any of that feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below and i will see you guys over there bye mm -hmm.